good afternoon everybody this is c7 the hoa homesteader down in florida zone 10a and today what you see in the backdrop is backup power in an emergency situation it's june 2021 and we are officially into hurricane season down here so what i have behind me is different sources of backup power all right, let's get into it. I'll show you uh, some of the things that I have with me. Over here to my right. I had this bad boy for about 16 years. It's my big generator. And every year, like twice a year, I take it out start it up make sure it still works and everything so this is one source of uh, backup power of course you're gonna have to have gasoline in order to make it work all right so if we're in a bad situation power goes out gas station goes down this is only gonna be good until i run out of gas Now, this little item here is called a Go Power Plus. Mm. All right, backup power and an inverter, all in one. This is something that all of us should have in our home, something similar. It's not very expensive and it, you can, uh, run appliances up to 100 watts. It holds 100 watts of power. I'm not going to get it all into the technical or what all you can plug into it. You learn about your uh, items that's necessary and how much power they need to run. That's how you decide which source of uh, backup power you may need for your home. But this thing here was sold and I will say it at Walmart on clearance last couple of weeks for 40 bucks. It was originally anywhere between like 89 and 100 bucks. There's a lot of Walmarts out there that still have them on clearance. If you can find one in your area, I suggest you grab more than one. However, I wasn't that fortunate. So I had to search online to find one but I did find it for at least half the price. This thing has a emergency radio, NOAA, where you can listen in and listen uh, to uh, weather conditions. All right, just push this button on here and it activate these four USB ports. You have an input in, right? Cause you can connect it to a solar panel and charge it up through solar. Or, or you hit the AC button and then activate the little power here. It's very important, like people who may have metal equipment that runs on less than 100 watts of power. Something like this would be awesome for your home. So don't overlook it, think it is too cheap. And it's on the go, car, camping, everything. Especially if you go out and you purchase uh, some type of solar panels that can charge this up also the only thing you won't be able to do is take on a solar charge and put out to a source at the same time so if you're charging it up that's the only thing you can do is charge it up when you're using it then you use it for what you need to use the great little item to have all right go power plus I'm still looking, I ain't stopped looking. If I can find a Walmart that got them stacked up, I'm gonna get me some more. I would love to be able to give some out to some family members that I know they should at least have something in their home as well. All right, behind it is solar panels. They not, they don't, they don't come with it. I found those at Harbor Freight and it was on clearance this past week for $60. So it's a little briefcase type. 
you're not heavy, fold up, take it with you, and you're on the go. That way you have a source of power that you can charge up your backup power like this. Or if you had the right connectors, you just charge it up to uh, use the solar panels to charge up smaller items, like cell phones or whatever. But however, the best to just use it on this and then you plug all your other little devices, laptops, uh, cell phones, maybe emergency GPS or anything into this. And it's very portable, durable, and on the go. Also has a flashlight on the side. Think about it. You can you buy extension cables for it. Uh, you can leave that thing hooked up all the time. You don't have to wait for an emergency. And, uh, just start using it daily around your house. Save on some of your energy costs. This item here is a Blue Eddy. 150. It's a solar generator backup power system for your home, camping, or whatever you use. It's a little heavy, it weighs almost uh, 35, 36 pounds. And, uh, but what it does is you can uh, power a lot of things in your house. Uh, some of you may know that. Like, when you start talking about solar, especially if you live in, in our area, I think even up north now, everywhere, you have all these solar companies coming around, knocking on your door, trying to sell you solar systems to put on your roof that could cost anywhere from like twenty-five to forty thousand dollars. But what they don't tell you is, is while it's saving you money on your monthly electrical bill, if the power went out, you still won't have power in your home. So now you got up to forty thousand dollars worth of equipment sitting on your roof and you still don't have power in your home to operate a refrigerator or god forbid uh, emergency medical equipment which would be really important so you still need some sort of uh, uh solar backup system or some sign of uh, backup power for your home for those items now this blue eddy is a Blue Eddy 150 and it generates 1500 watts of power and so it can power up several things and if you buy the extension ca cables which are sold separate and whatever footage you may need for your home you can run your panels out in your yard run it and keep this thing being charged up all the time and running and start using it on a daily basis in your home on you know, something that you might run all the time in your home. You make sure that uh, whatever you plug into it, however many watts it needs to run it, you divide that into the 1500 and that'll let you know how many hours you're gonna get out of. So it's a great backup system to have and plus it's portable. You could take it with you. All right. So since we're talking about the Blue Eddy, let me bring you down to the solar panels that you can purchase to go with it. Here they are right here. These generate 120 watts and they need to be out in the sun in order to uh, send power back towards a watts landed on my finger. Wow, you flew away though. They need, uh, in order to send power back to the uh, the Blue Eddy. What I did notice is they, they do need to be in uh, direct sunlight. However, those little Harbor Freight, you can be on your patio as soon as you open them up. Any kind of light outside and they're collecting that sun and able to send something to whatever you want need charge. But these need to be directly out in the sun in order to send something to the unit. I also want to take the time to show you this emergency flashlight. It's made by the same company that made the uh, GoPower Plus. 
It's called a Bo Go Power Solar Flashlight. Also was sold at Walmart and also was put on clearance at Walmart for less than 10 bucks. All right, and some of them still out there still have them. So if you can find it, go get you three or four of these. Let me go through. I got one that's already open. I'll show you how it works. All right, it hasn't been charged out in the sun. This right here. It's a solo solar for charging it up. However, one of the most remarkable things about it is if it was dead, set in your house for three or four months, you can take this handle, pop it out, crank it up. You're charging the battery while doing this. Now you're able to Operate the flashlight. Turn on the radio. The SOS signal. So even in a bad situation, if you hadn't charged it in a while, you still can operate and get some use out of this flashlight. It's pretty remarkable. Something like 60 bucks was discounted all the way down to like $9. And if they're still out there, they'll get you a couple of these. One for your vehicle, some for your vehicle, some for your home, some for a friend. Of course, all the uh, generator stuff comes with accessories. Help you charge up different stuff, and whatever one you decide to buy, if this is for you, uh, make sure you read the small print and see what accessories come with it, and what accessories you may want to purchase to go for the things that you want to keep charged up in your home. Uh, last, which I have mentioned in another video, but some of you guys may be new over here. Another source of power for my home is my Honda gas generator, my EU2200i, which I featured in another video when I set it up and added the extension gas. These are just all items that you can use uh, in an emergency situation if needed to generate backup power for your home. This is just information that I would love to just share with somebody, someone out there needs this. Someone out there had no idea about this kind of stuff. And those are the people that I'm trying to reach. I learned this about this stuff through someone else. I actually belong to a great group called the Greenhouse Lounge. And we share this kind of information with, with each other. From gardening to survival tips, emergency situations, and things that's needed around the house in a bad, if a bad situation was to happen. So, as I learn, I'm sharing. It ain't about hoarding the information. It's about sharing that information. So you guys can decide if this is something that you need for your home or share it with someone else to help them to get on the right track just so they can have something. I hope this information has been found useful for yourself, for your family, and be sure to share it with someone. Even if it may not be for you, you may know someone who, especially if they have emergency medical equipment, such as a CPAC machine, where they need to keep their insulin cold, they need to figure out some kind of way that if the power goes out, they have a way of, of, of maintaining those items or running down the equipment until the power does come back on. So it's really something to think about. I decided to go ahead and do my run up. As you can see, we started up. Don't look like it's leaking in the wall or not. I should be good to go for this season. Very loud. One thing about the big one, if I had to, I can run it and charge up a solar panel one. 
could do the same thing if I had to use it to power up the uh, solar blue eddy or any of the other stuff over there and it's nice and quiet so if you had to operate in stealth mode the Honda wouldn't be a bad choice and then the solar panels would be your best choice so the run up looks good and I just thought I'd add that little bit to the video Once again, I hope this information was helpful. I thank you guys for visiting my channel. And remember, just because you may live in an HOA doesn't mean that you cannot grow food.